boys and girls back at it again I wish you guys had a great day so let's talk about my rest of my journey uh, so I got this uh, Osmobile in uh, New York City I'm working for Rafi and I'm uh, basically told him that I'm gonna leave to California and I put everything in my car, which was uh, not that, that much. A uh, few clothes, uh, a small TV. I loved TV, but not anymore. Now I'm in love with YouTube. Yeah, it's very addictive. Uh, you can see that. Anyway, uh, first of all, subscribe if you haven't. Okay, so do not forget that. So I put everything in the Osmobile, left, the con uh, left New York City, drove down to California. It was about five days trip. It was a fun time because I slept on the road most of the time, except one night I went to my cousin house in Colorado, Denver, Colorado, and I stayed with them for a night. And in the morning I woke up and basically drove to Cali all the way. I, I made the trip in basically like 15 hours or so. So I got to Long Beach where my friend lives and uh, he sheltered me for, uh, I don't know, a week, two, something like that. I really don't remember that part, but he's a very nice guy. You know, uh, we are very good friends. We talk to each other a lot. Anyway, uh, so here we are in uh, Long Beach, so I'm looking for a job, but when I came to Cali before uh, for visit, I had applied for a job at a place called Gerard Photo Lab, and they gave me a job, said, well, you can come back, we'll give you a job, but when I came back, they were in airline, they didn't give me the job. And guess what, now they're out of business because they were just running really bad uh, business. Uh, photo lab business is a very tough business. It was a tough business. There's no more photo lab. I think there's just like a few of them. But you know, um, photo lab was my first business. Anyway, so I got a job with this guy in Santa Monica uh, but he was very difficult to get along with. I, I mean, I lost there for like three days, something like that. Then I'm looking for new opportunities. Then I found these uh, people that they give me opportunity to run a uh, 25 minute photo. I don't know any of you guys even remember 25 minute photo, but this is like one of those things that you process your film in 25 minutes and you get your picture. We were talking about a long time ago. Now you just take a picture on your digital camera, you don't like it, you just delete it, you put another one, just like the selfies, you know. Anyway, uh, technology is going way fast, too fast. It's just we are all, we're just like some place that we really need to take a break and pause because it's just too much. I mean, it's too much. Right now, in my opinion, social media is creating ADHD to people. I mean, everyone, 99%. Because you're always on your phone, you're always on your Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook. I mean, Facebook now is just becoming an old people stuff, you know. I think mean, you better be on YouTube and watch my channel and give me some watch time. So that's even better than all of them. Uh, so I got a job there and uh, they were nice people. They took care of me. And in the meantime, I went to a gathering that, you know, uh, for Baha'i gathering and uh, some, uh, somebody the next day came to my shop, to where I was working, not my shop. And she said, well, you know what? I have a cousin that, uh, you know, if you are open, she, you should date with her. She's a very nice girl. 
I said, sure, no problem. So we set up a date and I met my wife, Bernaz, and uh, then when I came back home and all, all my friends asked me, how was it, how was it? I said, well, she's nice, she's a very nice lady, she's a very nice girl. I think I'm gonna call her up. So I called her up and she said, no. I said, are you kidding me? Give me a chance, just give me a chance. All you gotta do is give me a chance. So I start talking to her every night at, on the phone. And you know, I drove from, I was living at that time at Paris Riverside. I drove to Rancho Bernardo every day to hang out with her and just to get to know her. And uh, it comes my birthday, which is May 2nd. So she, she said, well, you know, it's your birthday. I want to take you out for dinner. I said, wow, that's great. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we went to uh, this restaurant in La Jolla and we had dinner. Then she knew I liked jazz music. So uh, she took me to a jazz club. Then we went to Soledad in La Jolla and that's where I proposed to her. And this is the funniest story. I mean, it's not funny, it's real. Uh, I'm coming to go out with her. I grab a, uh, one ring, it was like $105, something like that. That was my budget. I mean, that's all the money I had, not my budget. <laughs> that was all the money I had. So when we went out, um, I was just feeling to, I'm going to propose to her. And I proposed to her and she said yes. And that changed my life. Literally, meeting my wife, it just took me up. So, we, I proposed to her May 2nd and we got married August 16th. Part 3 is coming. Subscribe and hit the like button and I'll be talking to you guys some other time. Hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.